it's the roaming back again. Um, picking up on the arena run where I last left off. Uh, I think this mage deck will do all right. I very highly doubt it'll take me to 12, but I think it'll get me decently far along. Um, not necessarily the best mage deck in the world. I would have actually preferred a few more spells, and I'm instead playing a mini heavy deck. And there are ways to make mages work mini heavy. This was when I play mage, that's not my playstyle. So I have a bit of a learning curve with this, not a horrible learning curve, thank god, but uh, I have to adjust to the arena style. Great. Mage versus mage. You asked for it. My magic will tear you apart. Polymorph, I think, will be the better removal in this case. Um, yeah, that with Frostbolt is better than the uh, Fireball I had. And AoE control plus damage. Always, well, usually good to have that. Not always. Uh, kills him. He can kill a shaman's entire board, which is nice. What you want? Emperor Cobra. Um. When I picked this, it was actually the best choice. I know the other two sucked. He's a bullet magnet, and if you know you don't have enough bullets, it'll kill something good, hopefully. Really would have preferred that on my opening hand obviously, because now it's going to die, but it's actually done its job. If it gets we must cleanse the sun well. And it didn't get paint. Interesting. I mean, a week is that. But that actually works out better for me, because now I can get rid of him. Sweet. Smart way, a dumb way, which I almost did. There we go. Cobra. Interesting. Bad news there. Do you need a blessing? Ah. Ah, I see. For now, you know, I'd wait. Use this for when I could actually kill something with it, but there's no So, yeah. Again, though, the, that was the Emperor Cobra, served as a public magnet, which is great. Force removal. Exactly what I was hoping for there. Got the silly yeti that I can walk down 
Oh, here you got a problem. Not gonna have to worry too much about. My shield for Argon. What do you call it? Polymorph. It's already been taken care of. We used it again on the Emperor Cobra, so. It's kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't part. It's always nice to have some of those. Yeah. Not a bad idea. You know, I've only got ten health left, nine health left. Yep. Yeah. You got me. Well played. You win this. Suppose if I'd held back on that spell vendor, I could have figured a minion out, but it wouldn't have mattered. Actually, I could have gotten rid of the Raven Wolf Assassin. But again, not really mattered. But I did get my quest there. So, 1100 gold. 45 more, and that's another arena run anyway. But I'd rather for the arena pay for the arena rather than my quests. But oh well. I admit I don't have that much practice in the arena. Um, as I've said before, my skill is more in building my own decks with my own cards rather than the arena style. And I admit that. You know, um, I'm doing this because I actually want to get better at the arena. I, I'm not that great at it. It's a big part of this game, and I think I should make an effort to become better at it. Hello. Uh, in the past, I've encountered um, some less than ideal, or what I, at the time, what I thought were less than ideal cards, and I've actually come up with. I've played them in interesting ways, and I've built decks around them. My mage deck with a double mana ray is actually case in point in that. I had to pick up, uh, it was two or three mana rays one time. And 
it just completely screwed my opponent over. And, and I just learned to play the mana rate smart. And then from that, was born my mage Priests and Warlocks, they're usually the classes that can maintain, or at least get to a hand advantage against me. Priests from their... oh, I'm drawing two cards but not completing my deck stuff. And Warlocks because they're hero power. I kind of figured he'd do something like that, but you now it's popping removal. Now that worked out quite well. That way. I'm not super worried about that. Um, I can hold it at bay for quite a while. As long as I keep it below at four or below health, um, flame strike will be over there. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! Enter Oh. Huh. That deals with light spawn better.
Jackson. I don't typically like Lord of the Arena. Yeah, he's got great stats, but aside from the 5 health, that 6 damage doesn't mean much. It's basically um, a bullet magnet. It's going to be removed. Find something I go say Holly. Bring me steel. I don't have no doubt. And now I have a six six beater. That's gonna be a problem. But one that I can deal with either way. case scenario. Ah. Going shadow form to get rid of that. Anyway, take your pick. Pick your poison. Yeah. yeah. That was dumb. That was very dumb. Urbashi Berserker was the more powerful threat there. But Shadow Pump could have really ramped up its power. certain uh dummy. Am I pissing you off for all? Oh come on. Yeah, he hit that. Oh he didn't really get anything good, at least. Granted I don't think I have anything good left. And that holds it off for another time. Did I pick three flame strikes or just two? Can't remember. And that would be a very good bit of information to have. Did say anything. But I guess I did not really mean anything. Yeah. <coughs> That's the end of that.
<coughs> 40 dust and a pack of dust. Because I never get anything new out of these packs. Out of any packs, really. Angry Chicken, what's my litter? Got that. Fairy Dragon, same. Another Blizzard, and Repentance. Let's see how much dust I got. Twenty-five. Apparently, most of those were not doubles. Oh yeah, golden sacrificial pot. Forgot about that. Ooh. And Alright, well. Back to climbing the ladder. Yeah, I already got this season's. Or, I got it in the bag. Started off this season, so I've got the fluffy My Little Pony card back then that I won't actually be using. I like the Black Temple one. I really do. I'm gonna stick with this for a while. But I don't really care for the Rainbow card back then. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this works. Coin knife juggler sometimes pays off, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on what he plays, if he plays anything. He doesn't, alright? Let's see if this will pay off next turn. Real hard here. Hello, anybody home? Clearly, he is not DC'd. Time waits for no one. Two men, I can't really be that big of a decision here. I still got some value out of it, I guess. I have this for when he silences some of my totems. Because I got annoyed with silenced totems. Particularly my flank buttons. And it's had some other situational use, too. So, here's another two, and a three two, so, not bad to have them.
Especially since I wouldn't have been able to really summon a decent one. Hmm. Right. Sure, it's taking a sweet time with these plays. Next turn, I'm probably dropping the mana type totem. Unless he does that. Okay. Let's see. Yep. With me, That's what I have the ancient brewmaster for. Oh, silence at you. And that was how much of an attack for that first. That was a mistake. I always forget that with the room masters. I don't know why. I guess I'm just getting ahead of myself. Get a wolf rider to get through the taunt. Then one. Not for the wild. Okay. Blade Master ready, just need to uh, ferret out that ancestral healing. If I can get that fist in, that'd be fantastic. Older Fist Ogre. That's good. Really? 
really not good except we hit him. Okay. Yeah, problem solved. Takes both of those forts uh, um, lost for him. So he could get rid of that, which would be, you know, we must minus one for well. me. Okay, we've got him for that. He trades that and armor for that. Armor for it, okay. That yeah, worked out better for him. He's taking out my big hitter. Yep. That's smart. Problem is, he's got nothing left. And I have plenty left. Including the instant army power of Hogger. More of the arena. Irrelevant. That's gonna get rid of it, no problem. That works too. That's game. Dragging it out, huh? Alright.
Well, I had to close tonight, so I am tired. Um, don't have to close tomorrow night, so I'll have a slightly longer video ready. But, for now, this is the Ronin signing off.